Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to volume 15 of our Visual Basic tutorials. In this tutorial I will be discussing the use of the go to command within Visual Basic. OK. What I have written here is a series of text boxes which, country, which contain countries from around the world. As you can see, above each one of these I have put the landing pad for the go to command. The go to command is consisted of two sections. The first is the actual go to header which you begin your jump. The second part is where you land your jump. The go to command is cons uh, concised to jump pieces of code. For example, after we've displayed home, we can jump and land ourselves to the Norway landing pad then maybe jump to home missing out Sweden and these ones here ok and let's see how this works so for example if we leave home we visit the USA, Australia, France, Germany, Belgium we don't want to go Norway and Sweden we just want to go home because we are quite tired and we have had enough of our holiday so we'll miss out Norway and Sweden here and all we do is type go to home with the go to header you have go to here you can see it's highlighted in blue then you type in home oh, sorry not a colon there. so the header you have go to then your jump here but the difference is you add a colon remember you land on the colon line you launch yourself from this line here so hopefully we'll display these then we'll miss out Norway and Sweden and go straight to home after Belgium Press the button, home, USA, Australia, France, Germany, Belgium and it should display home not Norway and Sweden and home as you can see it's jumped these two lines of code here or four lines, two destinations and gone straight to this line we can use a more complex statement if we want to after home we only want to visit Belgium so we type in Belgium here we'll go to Belgium then we want to go home straight afterwards so we've left home, we've gone to Belgium and we've gone home again as you can see we've used two jumping commands you can also jump back upwards if you'd like to you can jump down any way you like in the code. It is considered bad and poor coding practice but if you are really stuck you cannot get out of a four while loop and you're desperate then feel free to use the go to command to skip pieces of code and hopefully your programs will work but do remember it is considered as bad coding practice because when you come to edit your code it can you know it be very messy but remember if you're really stuck feel free to use the go to command to get yourself out of sticky situations I've been Sean Greasley thank you for listening to the go to command visual basic tutorial and I hope you enjoy the other tutorials on the website goodbye